but also it was not grinding correctly and now it is. Yeah. So there we go. She's saying that this is all I'm recording. Hey and welcome back to a Sun Bear Specialty Coffee Roasters video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Barraza Encore. Um, I've had this machine now for a couple of months. I got it because I wanted to do coarse coffee grinding uh, for the purposes of V60s, pour over, stuff like that. Um, and so today I'm going to talk a little bit about this machine, but also I'm going to dial you through a little bit of repair work that I've had to do to mine. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take my Encore out and show you guys what it's doing. I'll put a little bit of beans in here and just kind of show you what it's doing right now in the grinder. Just a little bit and let's go. So it kind of sounds like it's operating like normal, like it should. Grinds are going into the hopper in the bottom, which is great. All of the beans are processing through. But a couple of things. One thing that you'll notice is as I turn this, there's no clicking. It's, it's basically stepless right now. And that can be a good thing if it's still changing as you grind the beans. But this one, if you look there, you can see it's very coarse. And that's maybe even a little too coarse. I don't necessarily want it that coarse. And it's all the way over here to like 25 setting. So I know it's still not right. And I'm going to get into it today and show you how to, to fix some of the stuff with the Barasa Encore. Just a common screwdriver. I'm going to use these pliers because they come in handy uh, with trying to loosen a couple of the things up. And then just some sort of cloth uh, that we're going to try and grab uh, this with. So first things first, I'm going to take my hopper and set it aside. I'm going to take the, uh, I'm sorry, the, this hopper off the top, the lid. I'm going to remove this plastic thing. And this is maybe one of my only complaints that I would actually have about this machine totally is this little thing. I just don't see it as very useful. It's kind of cheaply made. I feel like it could tear easy and the way it sits on there is weird. I don't like it. Um, but it's not impossible to work around. I've found it pretty easy so far. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this top burr, uh, the comb burr, I believe they call this one. And mine's fairly clean because I just uh, worked on it, but I'll clean it off anyway. Okay, so next we're going to remove um, this uh, little, uh, oh, what do you call this? Wing nut. We're going to remove the wing nut from here. Make sure you keep all your parts somewhere close by where they're not hard to get a hold of. Okay, now this is just a tip. There's two ways to do this. Um, I'm going to go with the second route, but I'm going to show you real quick how to do the second version in case you decide to do it. So if this is not going left or it's super tight, they recommend that you can take this, kind of put a cloth over it. You can take uh, something like this that will clamp down on this. And then you can take maybe a hammer and just kind of gently tap on that in a counterclockwise fashion and it should loosen that that burr up underneath um, i'm not going to do it that way today though because it's the uh, method that i just found was not working okay so the next thing i'm going to do now that i've got the wing nut off the top i'm going to remove the button from the side you can just kind of pull it out it's not hard at all it just comes right off of there next step is to take your flathead screwdriver and then this part made me really nervous the first time I did it because I thought I was gonna break the plastic on my brand new machine. Um, so you just kind of shim it in there a little bit and then you wanna kind of pull or push away from the body a little bit. And I do it on both sides. I about midway through here and just kind of aim up, pop it forward just a bit. 
Okay, and you'll see the body just loosens up and you can loose. Okay, that's not a major deal. It's actually the piece that, that goes to the back here. So I'm gonna set that there, but that just goes to show you anytime you're doing a repair, you can have surprises that you were not expecting. Okay, now I got my cloth barely stuck in there. So I can show you this simple task. It locks the cloth in the way so you can unscrew your bolt. Hopefully, come on. There we go. Okay, finally loosened up. Pay close attention, if you can, to the order in which you're taking this bolt off. Um, this is the part I'm not 100% certain if I got right when I put this back on. So I'm gonna take all this off. Go ahead and loosen this. Take your cloth back out so you can see what you have here. My screws moving around already. That's concerning. Did I lose one? We'll never know. Okay, take this off. Like I said, you got a little bolt there on the bottom, little uh, washer behind it that's ri has ridges in it. I'm gonna set those there, and I'm gonna set them in the order that I'm taking them off. And this is your burr, and you can just kind of it out if I remember right. There you go. Just tap something on top of it and your burr will come out. And I just lost the washer that was on it. See? See there? There's a washer. Important that we hold on to this step. Okay, so I'm going to put that back on there because I want to make sure I do not lose it. And then this thing is basically just a spinning wheel um, that goes there. So I'm gonna leave that in place. And there is the part that I was missing before. So basically when this goes bad, you will be missing these little ridges on all four and it will just be flat. And you'll know because uh, beans will just, will not grind up in your uh, hopper at all. And it will just be jammed up in this uh, burr area so that's not good obviously um, and you don't want that happening so all right now I think what I got wrong before was in the order of how I did it so I'm actually flipping mine back around and then I'm going to try doing this again uh, let's see Maybe not, because it doesn't feel right. I'm gonna show you because I don't want you to be misled too. If you look on the top of here, you see those two little uh, pegs coming out of there. They have to go into the bottom of the, of the conical burr. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and place that on there. And then this is just a washer for padding. It's gonna go underneath, okay? Then we can put it back on. do that you'll see that it let's see tap this real quick pops right through so I think we're right I think, I think we're good to go on that now okay now we can begin to put it back together so I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and put this back in its place the little teeth on the first set there okay and now that we got this back on in the same manner that we took it off we can take our cloth kind of stick it back in there and hopefully it'll grab this time as we tighten it put that 
there. And tighten it down in the same. Not really. Man, of all things to not work in this thing, I really prefer it. Well, I prefer it all to work. That's what I prefer. And it's spinning freely, which is a good thing. Now we're just going to reassemble this uh, to the to the whatever you call this. I don't even know what you call it. To the thingy. pops perfectly if you if you do it correctly how about that and it's gonna put these four screws back on remember they're all little uh, little hex bolts and I seem to be missing one I should not be missing one I don't know how many of you all are I am just very challenged sometimes in mechanical ways and it's been very unfortunate uh, as a coffee roaster because I find myself repairing stuff all the time. Okay, and there you have it. It's all reassembled there and I'm ready to go ahead and put this back on the chassis again. I'm gonna show you guys something. This, the last time I took it apart, was extra which is if you know my mechanics that's something that always happens and now I know where it goes it goes right here and it's supposed to be there right on the lid of this as a cushion uh, for the grind scoper and I just figured it out I love moments like that little aha moment even for me So this rear one kind of fell out and I have to put it back in so it's got the little thing back on there and then it's got a little uh, washer that goes underneath. You can see that the red and white cable goes back on there it goes on pretty easy too. Two little dots under there, and place two little holes over that. This is a critical little part for the stepless or non-stepless. If you see in my hand here, I have one little plastic piece. This came with my new setup, um, and ironically, I think it's one of the things that's been wrong with mine all along is that it fell out. Pop it in on the spring. That's what's going to help you have a stepped machine meaning it clicks each time instead of stepless which does not okay and then at the next point we're going to go ahead and we will uh, reapply our wing nut just tighten it on there oh remind you this is counterclockwise to tighten not clockwise which is uh, counterintuitive if you ask me it's not something that you think about uh, yeah okay next we're gonna pop this guy on there 
which is one of the reasons mine was wrong before. I think. I really think so. Also, this is something that you can adjust and it makes it either more coarse or more grind. I believe right now mine is at the most coarse setting. That I will say for another video, I'm not gonna do that today. If it's wrong, I'm just gonna leave it because for the time being, that's what I got. Okay, and then it said you want the red dot lined up about 4 p.m. on this thing. This is 11 and 3, so you're going to go ahead and start with the 11 mark. There's my 4, and it feels like it's pretty... Aha! Uh -huh. And my clicking is back. Isn't that great? And then the last thing you have to do is just re... Sides, as you can see, I'll turn it around and let you see that we're just going to put this button back on. It's got a little flat side there uh, so that you can see where to line it up to. So there's no guesswork involved. I'll let the red match the red. There we go. That works way better than before. Uh, and it's got these two little lips that you go over here and it'll fit perfectly after that. Much better. I'm thinking I may have solved my problem this time. Because everything fits now the way it's supposed to. Test it out and see if the grinder is producing correctly. baby it is fixed that is some perfect pour over coffee right there well that was so much work that i thought that i deserve a cup of coffee to reward myself for all the work on my bras so i'm going to test it out and we're going to do a little bit of a pour over for you okay we're just over three minutes i'm going to go ahead and take it off here Agitate my coffee a little bit. Put back on my beautiful, beautiful lid, and there you see it. That is some gorgeous. Go. A lot of work today uh, to get this thing up and running, but it's working good now. It was not working good before. So, two things to take away from this is that. If you want it to be stepless, you have to remove the little black piece from inside that I showed you. Um, if it is somehow stepless and you didn't want it to be that way, put it back, that, that needs to be there. So before I had lost that piece, that's why it was not stepless. 